What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here, so in today's video I have an important update about a video that I made a couple of days ago which talked about the Odyssey jailbreak and the libhooker which was updated for iOS 14 even for the A12 and A13 devices. At that point we got the information from Coolstar's account here on Twitter which posted this information that iOS 14 got libhooker working fine. But apparently it's not only for 14.2 and lower as we thought, it would also work on 14.3. We're going to get to that in a second. So a quick recap, the libhooker is a very important component of the ODC jailbreak, it's what allows the tweaks to actually work. It's basically the whole foundation that enables tweaks to work and themes and so on. So without it, the jailbreak wouldn't work fine, in fact nothing would work on the jailbreak itself, making the jailbreak futile. Well apparently Coolstar tweeted that the iOS 14 finally got a version of libhooker that works. So this means that if any exploit gets released for a jailbreak, we would be able to update the ODC jailbreak because a very important component like libhooker is already updated and that exploit may not be so far. If you remember in yesterday's video I talked about this vulnerability and this jailbreak demo for iOS 14.0 up to 14.4 and you can see here that the security researcher basically jailbreaks their device using their own exploit which they may release once it gets patched because as of iOS 14.4 this exploit wasn't patched. So with libhooker already updated and with this exploit being released in the future, Odyssey will likely get updated for iOS 14.3 and lower for A12 and A13 before so long. But in my previous video I talked about the fact that you should stay below iOS 14.2 because Coolstar said quote only works on iOS 14.0 up to 14.2 on A12 plus. 14.3 is no good right now, don't update past 14.2. Well it was brought to my attention that here on Discord they said a completely different thing. So that that's why I'm making this video. Apparently that information was false. It does work on 14.3, Coolstar just didn't know it at that time. So back on the 2nd of February they said here quote, was able to debug on QDX is a cat boy's iPad and got libhooker working properly on 14.3. We're ready out here. And then they posted quote, for some clarification the earlier announcement was about libhooker working on 14.3 on A12 through A14 and the Series 4 plus Apple watches. They also said here quote, for your information since the 14.1 bug is not exploitable, if you have an A12 or higher, you may as well update the 14.3 release candidate now since libhooker has been updated. There's still the other bug that affects 14.3 and 14.3 release candidate is still signed. So what they talk about in here is that even though iOS 14.3, the normal version is no longer signed and 14.4 doesn't work with libhooker, the 14.3 release candidate, which is a beta, is still available, is still signed. So if you missed the opportunity to get 14.3, or to downgrade in time, you can get to the release candidate which is still signed. Now the release candidate is basically the latest beta before the final version gets released, so there shouldn't be really major changes, you shouldn't have any major bugs for running that beta, it's the final beta that got translated into the final release. So that one is still signed, so I would definitely urge you to downgrade the 14.3 beta if you're running 14.4. This vulnerability here found by the security researcher would also work on the A14 a12 and a13 on iOS 14.4 but the exploitation technique is a little bit different so it may take a little bit more time. So yeah apparently Coolstar didn't announce this on Twitter but yeah they did get 14.3 to work with libhooker as well which is pretty damn good because it means that if you already updated past iOS 14.2 and you're running 14.3 you definitely are okay and also if you are on 14.4 you can downgrade the 14.3 RC or release candidate and you should be good to go. So yeah it's very likely that the Odyssey jailbreak will be updated in the future. Coolstar also posted this, quote, stay on 14.3 or lower though since these firmware are vulnerable and should be jailbreakable. So this is actually pretty good, it means that we're making progress. As I said in my previous video, it's actually pretty important that we got libhooker updated because it's a very important component without which we wouldn't be able to run any tweaks or any themes, which is basically the whole point of the jailbreak. So the fact that it has been updated and it works with the A12, A13 and A14, so basically iPhone 12, iPhone 11, Tennis, Tennis Max and so on, is pretty great. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.